What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Windows 11 on your computer, keeping all of your files, programs, etc. intact. You'll basically be able to run the Windows updater, update your PC and boot into Windows 11 on your next restart. It's really simple, though of course I would put a huge disclaimer here. This is currently a very, very, very early release of Windows 11, and in fact, to get to it, you have to be a Windows insider. Don't worry about it. You basically just go across the Microsoft website, click a button, and now you're a Windows insider. You're able to sign up and download the developer version of Windows, so of course expect tons and tons of issues to come with it, but you'll be running the latest version of the operating system, and unlike the version people have been testing previously, which was a leaked copy of Windows, this copy over here is a fully legal copy coming straight from Microsoft themselves, meaning you're absolutely allowed to do it, especially if you have a Windows 10 key. I successfully updated a Windows virtual machine, even though it didn't have a key in it just yet. So you get to keep all your documents, you get to keep all your files, and of course you get to try out a brand new, super buggy operating system. But if that's something you're into, then this is the video for you. So the computer that I'm currently on over here is a Windows 10 virtual machine, meaning there's absolutely nothing important on it for me. I basically use it just for debugging and testing my Techno account switcher, a quick way to swap Steam accounts, Epic Games, etc, etc. So of course, if you're going to be upgrading to Windows 11, you need to make sure that you have everything backed up on external drives. So to begin with everything backed up, how exactly do we go ahead and update it to Windows 11? Well, all you have to do is hit start and head into the settings menu. Once you're in the settings menu, head into update and security, and then in the bottom left, you'll find the Windows Insider program. This is what we're looking for. You should see something like this. All you have to do is click get started. If however, you see something like this, make sure you're connected to the internet, which this computer currently isn't. So there we go. After a quick restart, I'm now connected to the internet. I'll go ahead and reopen the update and security tab, Windows Insider program, Otherwise, if you see an error like this, all you have to do is turn on diagnostics and feedback in order to update. You'll be taken across to a page like this. Simply just turn on everything over here and then hit back. Now you should see the get started button. After clicking said get started button, you'll see something like this. Click the button to link an account and then sign into your Microsoft account where you'll need to be a Windows Insider. Presumably, if you aren't already a Windows Insider, it'll take you through the steps. Basically, it's just ticking a few boxes and agreeing. After signing in with a Microsoft account, you'll see something like this. As you can see, the dev channel, ideal for highly technical users, be the first to access the latest Windows 11 builds earliest in the development cycle with the newest code. There are some rough edges and low stability. Now, as far as I've heard, this is the only channel with Windows 11 in it. But if we have a look right below it, we see there's also a beta channel, which is recommended. Ideal for early adopters, these Windows 11 builds will be more reliable than builds from our dev channel with updates validated by Microsoft. Your feedback has the greatest impact here. Currently, at the time of recording this, the 29th of June, you need to select the dev channel in order to actually get the Windows update to Windows 11. In my recording over here, I select the beta channel as it also promises Windows 11, but it's not quite available there just yet. If you select it and head across to the Windows Update tab, then check for updates, you should see the Windows 11 update pop up. Otherwise, if you see other updates, they may need to finish first. You'll need to restart and come back to the screen over here. But if you click check for updates and you don't see it, then you'll need to switch across to the dev channel as that's currently the only way of getting it. The reason I'm including both of these and telling you to select the beta channel is that some stage in the future, probably about a week from now, you'll be able to select the beta channel and download a much more stable version of Windows 10. So do try the beta channel first, check if you have the Windows 11 update, otherwise select the dev channel and check the update screen once again. And there we have it. I'll simply put in my password again. As you can see, the font's different, and eventually I should be dropped into my Windows as per usual. And there we have it. We're now logged into Windows 11, and it's working properly. As you can see, the new start menu over here, the new settings window, everything's been updated. And if I head across to the About section of the System tab over here, you'll see that I'm currently running Windows 11 Pro Update 21H2. Pretty cool. So that's how to install the new beta version of Windows 11. Just know that while you're in this development branch, there will be tons of updates that come out very, very often, even more so than the usual Windows updates. And if you'd like at some stage in the future, you can click the Windows Insider program where you're able to step back down to Windows 10 if you'd like. Though note that when you do, you're not able to upgrade to Windows 11 Insider program once again, I don't think. And I would assume on this tab over here, there should be a way to change out of the development channel into the beta channel or something like that, where you have less frequent updates and it should be more stable. But I guess that's just not here yet. 
Of course, we've got the new snapping feature if you hover over the full screen button just to make life a bit easier. And for some reason, it hit my background. That gives me a new opportunity to also show you the new right click menu. Everything has been changed. I don't really see the rounded corners as much as people were talking about. These seem pretty square to me. But anyways, that's outside of the scope of this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot and welcome to Windows 11. Ciao.